Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Microsoft Visual Studio Desktop Express 2013. Now that was a mouthful, but uh, every one of those terms kind of meant something. So to get this process started, I'm just going to go to Google, just good old Google, type in Visual Studio 2013. And that's not going to take me exactly to where I want to go, but we can get there. So I'm going to head down to msdnmicrosoft.com, uh, click on this link. It doesn't really matter the entry point. I'm just going to click here. Uh, so I get this page, which is pretty lackluster. Um, under Downloads, I'll click on Download. A lot of ways to get to this particular page. You'll know when you get here. right? And this is why I'm making this video, because you realize, oh, there's a lot of options. So I've got this Visual Studio 90 day free trial, which is not what I'm interested in. I want a full version of the software. So the full free version is just Express, right? So that's where the Express portion comes in. Now amongst the Express versions, there's these four. Uh, the one that I want is Windows Desktop, because we're going to be making desktop applications. You may need something else, but for the examples and for what I do, I'm going to click on that one. And of course that just expands out, it doesn't really take us anywhere. So we've got some options. I'm going to click this install now button. Right, so digging around a little bit. You could see how you could install the wrong product. Uh, you don't need a trial. Uh, Express means free. Desktop means for making desktop apps. 2013 because, well, it's 2014, but that's the newest version. And then you are going, all they want from you, it's free, but they want you to is sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, well, you're going to need to create one. So I'm going to sign in right now. I'm about 20% sure. Okay, obviously I don't know my password. Well, this might take a minute. Okay, so now that I've logged in, if you had to go sign up for a Microsoft account, well then that adds a couple minutes to the process. So I guess they need my full name, which seems weird, but okay. I'm going to uncheck that box. This, right, I'll click on that. And I'm saving something somewhere. Eh, sure, I'll put it there. And so I open up <clears throat> this temp programming folder where I save a bunch of random stuff. You can see here's that file. Did not take me very long to download. It's just an installer, as you'll see shortly. I'm going to run this. Let me pull this over here. And so it's barking at me. It wants me to have Internet Explorer 10, which I personally don't care about. So I'm going to continue. Agree to the terms. Opt out of something. And I'm going to install. Now this is what I meant by an installer. So when I clicked on download on that Microsoft site, it literally took five seconds. This is the screen I'm going to sit and I'm going to stare at for quite some time. So depending on the strength of your your network connection. And so this is the end of it and hopefully this part works. If it doesn't go well, this whole thing uh, oftentimes if you can't install this, it's because of some kind of issue with the .net framework and and that's kind of a can of worms of its own. So hopefully this works. I'll see you in a while. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'll tell you how long it took when I get there. And here we are, 30 minutes later, literally 30 minutes later, I have completed my installation and setup. Just kind of uh, something I can tell you is that there's not a meter like 99%, but whatever would have been 99% is where I spent about 10 minutes applying updates and finalizing the install. At some point, so me on a campus network with a wired connection, it took 30 minutes. Your results may vary and it wants me to restart and that's not going to happen in this video so that's how it works so be prepared to sink probably 30 minutes into this at least it could certainly be less could certainly be more 
uh, remember those parts in the beginning where I had to click on the appropriate links. And once you're set, you've got yourself a copy of Visual Studio Express 2013 desktop version. Thanks for watching.